Greetings, as always, models. I am the Fallen Shogun. Hopefully, you know that. And welcome back to Makeshift Housing in the How To series of Rise to Ruins. So, right now, we have a minor issue that the enemy are trying to power through over here, which means we need to make sure they can't. Because right now, you want to make sure there's constantly things shooting at them, so they path towards the things attacking them. If they're not being attacked, they will path to the thing which is, obviously, most active to be attacked. They'll path to your walls. Your walls stop them from pathing directly to the buildings they want to kill. So if you start shooting at them, they will redirect their pathing. So make sure in areas where you're being attacked, there's things there to hit them so they have to retarget. It won't always work, but it will work enough that you can stop a large majority of the enemy. Of course, there's more enemies when you're shooting, you're going to have an issue regardless. So we're going to be beefing up our defenses and expand... I saw that. Where are you going? Where are you? Where's he going? Decaying resources. Yeah, they decay into trash. So make sure your resources are actually being looked after, of course. As you can see, gold. We don't really care too much about it. It means more trash, which means more essence, which means more mass murdering weaponry being used against the enemy. So we will be looking at expanding our maze. Let's put this to the top, why not? Because our maze right now isn't good. It's too close to my actual position. And that's not good for me. Do that. Uh, let's uh, dismantle this. Dismantle all of this. Why not? So the wall's at the top now. Hopefully I'll start building it. More wall, more merriment, more murder. Because right now, I don't want this area to be hit. I'd like very much for there to be a solid wall stopping them to do that. And if I build a curtain wall here which will stop them shooting at it, I would very much also like for them to have weapon fire. Which means this area here is going to be transformed into turrets. Which means this turret area over here, will let this area come out to here, and there'll be like a gate or something over here to let them in. A gateway, of course, means they can shoot through it. So yes, we're going to be getting into that way. In fact, we're going to cancel this. This is dumb. Now I think about it. Because like I've said, you want to have a too thick wall to stop slimes spawning in your base. That's the worst thing that could possibly happen. Slimes in the base. So too thick your initial wall and work on it that way. In fact, also make sure you can actually build it. So don't do this just yet. If it's still building stuff behind it, slowly work towards it. But there you are. As you can see walls are being built. Stuff is being destroyed. And that's how you begin. The war, the maze, the death, the towers. How are we doing? Perfecto mundo. That might not be built if it's outside of my influence, so you have to make sure the influence is around. So keep an eye on your... Hmm. Keep an eye on your... Come here, you. On your influence... Don't let your people go outside. Remember, we did lose one last time because of that. That's just how it is. But they're losing people. Electrical storm. So if there's an electrical storm, you put down a lightning rod to stop them destroying you. We don't have one of those. So, a bit of a problem. So make sure you have no resources you kind of need anywhere near your base, outside near the enemy. Come here, you. Or oh, you can, if you want to, to draw the enemy in. I'm kind of happy with that. We're killing off all their builders. And if they don't have builders, they can't keep on rearming this damn tower down here. Sod them. Sod them all. You don't have to sod them. That's not part of the how-to. Sodding them is not a key critical step. Although I'd hazard you should anyway. Sod the enemy. So we're going to make sure we can still see it. We're going to have a few more pits just here. Oh, well out of building slots, so we'll destroy this pit and build another one. As you can see, the walls are going up, it's looking nice. That wasn't stone, was it? 
It was. Okay. Sometimes the aiming is a little bit temperamental. You'll see where the little um, essence underneath your hand is. So you get it right. But yeah, you can slowly build it up. The more wall they have to go through, the better, of course. This burn needs to be upgraded. So I'm, right now, I'm helping out as much as I can without, of course, causing too many issues. That means there'll be more water. More water is needed because summer is coming. And summer right now is a greater killer. What if it's not having too much water stored? We don't have a water storage. We only have here and whatever's in the houses. We only have one, doggo. Thought we had more. Oh, well. Do, do, do. There we go. They're powering things up perfectly. Use a huge amount of essence from there. Let's go into this. So I want to get the tower up again. Your priority will be at this stage food, water, defences. You should have the houses available to keep on upgrading as and when you need them. You can build more houses if you want to, but I just recommend upgrading what you've got. And obviously keep on expanding the maze as and when you can, but don't get to the point where your people can't meet the inside of the maze. I recommend making holes in the maze and building some fire pits. But of course that is up to you again. As you can see, powering this up still. So yeah, getting the uh, larger towers up is definitely a plus. Oops. Going to take a long time because of how much they need, but getting a ballista up for the range is going to be very useful. I'm not too sure the range, you might even hit that. Wipe out the graveyard, I'll be a lot happier. Do, do, do. Okay, grab more essence. I remember, always remember where the auxiliary, where the ancient radius pools are. There we go, look at that. Because again, you need to get your buildings up and running. The more buildings you have, low upgrades, the more, the more waste you've got going on, really. You can build as many buildings as you like, but, you know, you, that just really means you could have a massive, massive city expanding going around. It looks good, but you would have your stuff being more powerful. Go away. You want to be able to build more buildings. You want to be able to upgrade extremely fast all your stuff, like... These, these phantom towers, if I had basic towers, I wouldn't have ice and fire. So always upgrade what you've got as and when you can. Prioritise that above new buildings. Of course we have a lot of stuff going on over here. What are you, iron? I think you're a bit of stone, aren't you? Yeah, there we go. But yeah, golems are definitely up there. Yeah, golems are very much up there. Towers are very much up there. I highly prioritise the defensive wall over everything else, but golems are, of course, a major asset. Because they can keep the enemy away. Look at the speed of that skeleton at times two. There we go. Another piece of the wall up and running. And that's also why you need a lot of towers. They can actually defend your builders as they come along, because obviously the enemy is trying to path towards things, shooting at them. Oh, this one has targets locked. Never mind, it's dead. Plenty of food being left on the ground. Bit of an issue there. So I've got nothing in storage, even though I can literally see my storage as we speak. Hmm. Okay. I have one in storage. Okay, I'll take it, whatever. See if I care, game. But yeah, you need to get your golem storages up. You need to very much make sure your maze is powerful. So you are going to be looking at multiple towers, banished towers, as and where you can put them. I could destroy this now, but my issue would of course be the fact that I won't have any influence over there just yet. 
So we need some more large fire pits. One there. Gonna get one over here just to make sure. If I don't do it properly, I'll come over here, won't I? Yes, this will be here. So I'll walk up here. Which means, yeah, I want one here. Okay. Now, a smart thing, of course, would be to destroy the pieces I'm picking up over here. Because, you know, I'm destroying them anyway. You destroy a piece of resource, you lose the resource. They don't just, like, pick up a huge amount. You just lose it instinctively. So, it'd be smart to do that, but I just don't care. It depends entirely on how much resources you have available and how desperate you are currently becoming. Because, like, this city is huge, this enemy city. And I have recently lost someone. So... When the twilight hours of night are around, like nighttime morning, there is a chance ghosts of the dead will spawn, and you can use the resurrect spell on them, which occasionally comes back as a zombie, but, you know, it's like rolling a die. Sometimes you get your peasant, sometimes you get a zombie who wants your brains. Sometimes you're lucky, you get a peasant who wants to talk about brains. But I recommend rolling at all times if you feel the need to have more people. Let's just dissolve one of the dead things. There we go. As you can see, right now we haven't yet got any of the spectres. The spectres are where the entire map will change to more defensive. Where are you going? Good. Done. But yeah, I think we're doing okay for now. Don't see any issues. Obviously, we're going to keep on grabbing any more of their builders as and when they appear because sod those builders. And builder sodding is one of the greatest things of 2019. Look at them over there building another graveyard. Horrible, horrible creatures. What are they mining? Can't tell. But yeah, it's getting bad now. Getting very bad. We have to stop pushing. Oh, just get another doggo. Cool. I mean, it's not, but you know. No, no, don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. No, he's panicking, Sarah. Damn you, Sarah. You were so close to doing that yourself. So obviously all the stone is being taken to the wall, which means all the resources we have available are going towards other projects, which right now is just that. Nothing else... Really needs that much wood. Wrong button. There we go. I missed. No, I didn't. I didn't miss. Nancy had it targeted. Perfect. That's another upgrade for the Crystillery. That's useful. As you can see, we've got enough defences firing right now. Obviously, we could do with a bit more munitions on the front line, but we can work on that. Not to get the blister up and running, I'll be very happy. Get some much more, a longer range firepower. It can't, of course, shoot over the rocks, but the rocks don't have to stay there. We're just carry on expanding the wall. We don't need them to be there. And again, they can fire over the curtain wall. So build those as far back as you feel the need to have them. And then just massively mass produce them when you get the chance. There we go. That was a piece of rubbish. Another one down. I'm an idiot again, aren't I? Yes. This shouldn't be here. I keep forgetting I'm making a too wide wall. It's a problem. But yeah, make sure they're too wide. Don't do what I do and keep wasting um, time. Your life. Other things like that. But yeah, make sure you have a two wide walls so you can shoot over. And there we go. We now have the blister active. Perfect. Where are you going? Same one. Okay. 
But yeah, obviously right now we're not facing too much issues. Come here. No, 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 no. Don't run towards the fire bow tower. What are you doing? Eating a raw food. I need to cook you guys some food so you're happier. Happier people are more likely to have mating sex. So the happier people are by, you know, having time off, not being killed, having a house and having nice food. The greater the chance they are of mating and having kids. Of course it depends if you want kids or not, but there is a greater chance if they're happy and not doing anything deathy. Or indeed anything at all. The lazier the person, the more likely they are to just do it. There we go. Oh, come on. Someone finish off the last punch of the building. Okay, the tower's up. Give me your ammo. There we go. So like all buildings, you can upgrade the ballista tower. It takes a long time to fire. But as you can see, the range is almost there. Oh, that's a shame. It's one block off. So I do some significant damage. There we go. But as you can see, we're doing okay so far. It's not too major. You're usually quite fine. Obviously, summer is going to be a nightmare. And winter is still coming. Look at that. Nothing major at all. I doubt this is worth it. It's actually a lot more realistic to just keep clicking until you'll melt down. But of course, you don't have too much time or you just don't want to waste your mouse clicks. Just drop off a, um, a dissolve. But you don't get much back unless there's a massive horde of dead. Yeah, I didn't get much at all. Okay. Well, there you are. Uh, let's just drop one here in the forest. Give me all your life essence. So yeah, we've got more buildings. Keep upgrading your ancillaries. Keep upgrading your tower. Or your town hall. And put more ancillaries down. I only have two. Put down more to get more buildings. You want to have a good ratio. Like a third of your city, realistically, should be some kind of tower or defensive building. I can only have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I only have 12, so we're looking at... I don't know, probably a fifth. Uh, yeah, looking about a fifth if I get 60 buildings. So yeah, I need more buildings down. Defensive-wise, we're getting there. There we go. The wall's still ongoing. As you can see, the enemy isn't going to touch us. Just cancel that. And put in a large fire pit. There we go. Wait, what am I doing? Don't cancel there. I don't want a fire pit there. That'd be where the actual defences are. Okay. So when we actually need a fire pit, it'd be there. And there then. Because there'll be a wall here. Yeah, okay. That's worked perfect. So always make sure you're marking out stuff. Obviously a lot of things I'm doing is after the, the effect. And again, don't make sure that the enemy starts trying to escape around your towers by punching through walls. Because you don't really want to find out your wall is breached and your guys can't shoot. Where's he going? Okay. We're doing fine, we're doing fine. It's fine, it's fine. Do this, go to those. Q to get rid of there. We go to so get rid of that, stop pushing outwards. Actually. Yeah, we'll be moving that tower as well now, I think about it. We've got a curtain tower here. There we go. Curtain wall. Died of natural cautious. Melin Bishop is dead. We're losing people. Is that an old one? 
Wait, what was that? Did somebody just get summoned? What was that? I'm beginning to question the natural causes. It looks like we're doing okay. We still have a bit more time to go. Let's speed things up. As you can see, nothing's getting through. But yeah, work on your double walls. Work on your actual walls. We've got no twilight hours and no one got summoned. What are you, wait, what are you that? Summer is here. It is all going to work in blistering hot weather pretty often. And I have to go home to cool down. Yes, we need more water. That's fine. That means we need more peasants. We have the housing for them to cool down. But now we need more peasants. Where'd that shoot? Are we more trash? Yeah, more trash slants. That's fine. That one's read it. That's being destroyed over here. That's good. So, yes. Work on your maze. Then, obviously, you have to work on actually pushing this back before it surrounds and destroys everything. A bit of fire pit here. Why not? To give us more view. Because, let's face it, we kind of need to make sure... There isn't a large amount of corruption going around. You can't build in the corruption, they can. I mean, of course, you still get these slimes spawning because of your uh, rubbish, but, you know. There we go. Who cares about trashy slimes? They're pretty meh. Cancel that. Okay, we're going to work on the walls because my people are having issues with it. There we are. There we are, indeed. So yeah, your people will have issues pathing towards certain areas. Of course, if you're building a lot of things, they'll be building a lot of things themselves. Because they will be going for the resources they have at hand. If they have a lot of wood, they'll go for the wood buildings, even if they are not prioritised high. It just means, you know, they've got no, nothing to do, and that was something they could do. Yeah, just make sure you've got resources. And always, if in doubt, do it yourself. You're an omnipotent god there very much. What do you... I mean, I don't know. I don't know where they are. They say they're migrants, but as far as I can tell, they probably abandoned here. They're here because no one else wanted them. Every other god wanted real useful followers. You're stuck with what's left. Probably explains Dwarf Fortress too now I think about it. Yeah, you get the dumb dwarfs. Even the smart ones are only smart by the dumb standards. That's why they do take pictures of um, socks being swallowed by cats, being eaten by demons, and think that's a lovely thing to put on the wall in your dining room. I swear, if Ray adds that in, that'd be interesting. But no, back to how to, as opposed to why things are weird. You want to get the wall up, like I say. You want to get that going. Because otherwise you will have issues again. There we are. Anyway, I've been the Fallen Show. It's been another part of the how-to. Uh, Charles for now, people. Bye-bye.